The Tables Turned by William Wordsworth, 1770 to 1850. Up, up, my friend, and quit your books, or surely you'll grow double. Up, up, my friend, and clear your looks, why all this toil and trouble? The sun above the mountain's head, a freshening lustre mellow, through all the long green fields has spread his first sweet evening yellow. Books, tis a dull and endless strife, come here the woodland linnet. How sweet is music on my life, there's more of wisdom in it. And hark how blithe the throstle sings, he too is no mean preacher. Come forth into the light of things, let nature be your teacher. She has a world of ready wealth, our minds and hearts to bless. Spontaneous wisdom breathed by health, truth breathed by cheerfulness. One impulse from a vernal wood may teach you more of man, of moral evil and of good, than all the sages can. Sweet is the law which nature brings, our meddling intellect misshapes the beauteous form of things. We murder to dissect. Enough of science and of art, close up those barren leaves. Come forth and bring with you a heart that watches and receives. OK, this is a poem by William Wordsworth. Um, William Wordsworth is one of the great romantic poets. Um, he came from Cumberland in uh, England and uh, he went to St John's College, Cambridge. Now, what's this poem about? Well, the title is The Tables Turned, and the poem is telling you to stop trying to learn things from books, stop trying to learn, stop your book learning, and just look at nature, because nature will teach you much, much, much more than anything you can learn from books. But there's a one great irony with this. The fact that if you're going to read this poem, you're going to read it in a book. This poem is not something you're going to find in nature. And therefore, it, um, it, it, it's like it cuts two, two, di two different ways. Yeah, it's um, saying you must learn from nature but this that you learn from nature, you're going to learn in a book. So up, up, my friend, get up and quit your books. Leave your books or surely you'll grow double. You'll grow, you'll, you'll grow wrong. Up, up, my friend, and clear your looks. Stop looking at the books. Clear your faces of Im uh, 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 all the things you're reading. Why all this toil and trouble? Why are you doing things the difficult way and trying to learn uh, all of these things from, from books? It's the hard way of doing it. The sun above the mountain's head, a freshening lustre yellow, sorry, mellow. So the sun is above the top of the mountain and um, there is a, uh, a shine to everything yes yeah, so the sun is setting over the mountain and this is um, shining a beautiful fading sunlight onto everything through all the long green fields has spread his first sweet evening yellow so the beginning the yellowing of, of the light light at midday is much whiter but as the sun goes down it starts to get more yellow and everything, all of the fields are full of the evening sun, and this is such a beautiful, uh, sweet colour. Books, tis a dull and endless strife. 
So books are boring and you have to fight with them endlessly. Come hear the woodland linnet. So come hear the linnet. It's a bird in the woods. How sweet is music. The linnet has beautiful, a beautiful song. On my life, there's more of wisdom in it. So there's more wisdom, there's more that you can learn from the Song of the Linnet than you could ever learn from a book. And hark, how blithe the throstle sings. So a throstle is a thrush. How blithe, if you're blithe, you don't care, you're free. You're free from the worries of the world. And hark, and listen, how free and independent the thrush sings. He too is no mean preacher. So a preacher, a priest telling you right and wrong and what to do. So the throstle, the thrush, is, uh, a ver is very good at preaching, at telling you what is right and what is wrong. Come forth into the light of things. Let nature be your teacher. So come out of uh, your room where you're learning in, in the books. Come out of that library and come into nature and let nature teach you. She has a world of ready wealth, our mind and hearts to bless. So the, 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 the world of nature has a wealth. It has huge amounts of beautiful things to bless our minds and to bless our hearts to make to to satisfy our minds and heart spontaneous wisdom breathed by health so wisdom that you suddenly know that you understand spontaneously that um, nature knows things nature is healthy true breathed by uh, cheerfulness so Nature has spontaneous wisdom that comes from the health of nature. And truth comes from nature because it's so happy. Nature is infused uh, with happiness. One impulse from a vernal wood. So vernal, it means of summer. Yeah. Um, or from springtime. Yeah. Um, so there's one impulse, one feeling from a, uh, a a wood in spring will may teach you more of man it will teach you a huge amount about man of moral evil and of good than all the sages can so a wood in spring a vernal wood will teach you more about man it will teach you more about the difference between good and evil than all the wise people can than all the intelligent things written in the books can teach you sweet is the law which nature brings so nature um, brings uh, uh, sweet things and the the natural thing is um, uh, nature is sweet and it is beautiful and it's natural growth our meddling intellect misshapes the beauteous form of things so we use our intellect and we understand things wrongly we misconstrue we misunderstand the beauty of creation the beauteous forms of things we murder to dissect, we break things, we break nature to um, dis di discover what is right and what is wrong and what we think is good. Um, and uh, th this is the negative side of books. Enough of science and of art close up those barren leaves so stop learning science stop learning art and close up those barren the leaves the pages of the book but leaves from nature as well come forth and bring with you a heart that watches and receives so come come listen uh Bring your heart and watch and receive and understand all the beautiful things of nature. Okay, so um, um, the poem is saying that books are bad for you. 
yeah um and nature doesn't dis doesn't um uh teaches you much more beautifully and much more easily so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon bye for now the tables turned by william wordsworth